Hi there, I hope you're having a good day. Can you believe we're just about at the end of May, Memorial Weekend upon us, and summertime is just around the corner. So while I'm looking forward to summer, I will miss a lot of the cooler springtime blooms, um, which we've enjoyed um, so much this season, but I'm just as excited and looking forward to a lot of the summertime blooms which I've been preparing for since February. I did sow quite a few flower seeds like the zinnias, pincushion flowers, china asters, a lot of the cosmos have already been in bloom and will continue to bloom throughout the summer. And in my previous videos, you may know, I planted up um, recently some dahlia tubers. I actually have, um, I think about 10, maybe 12 varieties. Most, most of them are in, planted in front um, and a, uh, a handful of them are planted up here in the backyard. Um, but in the meantime, I have a few kind of miscellaneous plants and flowers sitting around waiting to be put in somewhere. Um, they're kind of leftovers from different projects that I was working on, um, or you know, maybe I, I went to the garden center and picked up a few flowers and plants that I wasn't quite sure where I was gonna plant them, but I just had to have them. I don't know if you guys do that, um, but I'm sure I'm not the only one. For a lot of you garden lovers out there, flower lovers, I'm sure when you go to the garden center and see something that you just love and have to have, you just bring them home and you're just, you're gonna find somewhere to put them in. So that's kind of where I am today is trying to figure out where I'm gonna put some of these um, plant halls that I have previously, which speaking of plant halls, so, if you saw in my last video, um, I love these um, Bright Lights Double Moon Glow Osteospermum. They are um, proven winners and they are a type of African daisy. And I only had two of them planted in. I went to four different garden centers trying to look for more, couldn't find any. So I went online. My go-to is provenwinnersdirect.com and so I ordered six more. Um, so they came today and I was just opening the box and thought I'd show you guys and you know where I'm gonna plant them up I'm still trying to figure all of that out um, But I the reason why I love these so much is it adds a, you know a nice pop of summertime color But it's got these really pretty creamy yellow outer petals um, But the inside is the buttery yellow really soft cushy petals um, in the middle and so of course with the green foliage so I'm going to plant those up um, a couple in the back corner by the um, grotto and probably a couple over in the pollinator garden um, so I'm going to plant these up and a few of the leftover flowers like the finkas I had and the angelonias get those planted in and around find some spots around the garden and I'll just show you when I'm all done planting <music>
Okay guys, I am done. I got everything planted in that I need to. So the moon glows are in. Of course, they're just um, little spots of creamy yellow color. Uh, there's one that we already had planted in. Um, but I have one planted in over here. Um, I think I planted three or four of them. So there's one right in there tucked in between the purple angelonia and the Serpentunia Vista Bordeaux. I've got another one over here next to the raspberry sweet alyssum. And uh, those are the ones that we had in there before. Where's the other one? Oh, the other one's way over here. So planted that one over here next to the delphinium. So a few, and of course, as the summer heats up, it'll grow in and cover a little bit more area. This is the pollinator garden here. And so as the moon glow daisies fill in, we'll see more pops of yellowy color here in the pollinator garden. Over here, I was able to tuck in some of the raspberry angelonia that I had left over from a project when I made my sister's birthday um, container and I had some really pretty raspberry angelonias and white bacopa and I think I put some supertunia mini vistas in there. Um, here's some white ones here so that'll fill in and spill over this summer as it heats up. Over to the left I transferred one of the super tunia vista silverberries that I had over in the pollinator garden and I potted it up in this really pretty blue container with some variegated grass and so as that kind of grows and fills in mounds up and then it'll spill over the side by the end of the summer it'll be all the way down to the bottom of the container so that should be a nice little spot of color back here and then here's where I planted in the other moon glows. Um, so I've got three, three or four here in front of the Supertunia Vista. Um, gosh, I think it's the passion. I don't think it's the jazzberry. It's the passion pink variety. And then the Supertunia Vista mini indigos next to the moon glows. So that's going to be pretty when it all fills in. I love this little spot back here. And what else did I plant? Oh, I planted up. So I had a handful of vincas from the front entry project. So the, those I was able to tuck into this little mini pot belly container. And then the rest of the vincas I just squeezed in over here with the yellow creamy yellow lantana and the purple fountain grass so that'll fill in and bring a nice um, pot of color for the summer so guys thanks for tuning in um, i hope whatever i'm planting up in my garden somehow um, either gives you a, an idea for your own garden or if you just love flowers and plants like I do, maybe just like watching gardening or planting things up and maybe it just brings a smile to your day, which is usually me when I watch another gardener planting in their garden. Um, so enjoy this Memorial holiday weekend. Um, and thank you to all those who served our country out there, to you, to your families, as we honor you this Memorial weekend. God bless you. And guys, have a wonderful weekend. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.